Hi there, my name is Achira and in this video I'll be showing you how you can create and manage your very own lead magnet on Super Profile. I'll be starting off by giving you a general overview of our lead magnet dashboard, after which I'll show you how you can create your own lead magnet. After that, I'll show you how you can create and find your own lead magnet template code. And finally, I'll be showing you where you can find and manage all of your leads on Super Profile. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so starting off with a general overview of our lead magnet dashboard. As you can see over here, my screen is split into four. At the very top over here, I have a general, I have a few general performance numbers such as your total responses, your responses in the last seven days, and your conversion rate for the last seven days. And I'll get into all of these terms a little bit later. Um, but for now, let's move on. So right underneath that over here, we also have an area where you can find, uh, where you can actually use different uh, lead magnet template codes to find different lead magnets. Um, and underneath that over here, you also have an area where you can sort and manage your different lead magnets as well. So right at the bottom over here, you can also see your individual lead magnets along with the individual performance numbers as well. And again, I'll go into all of these terms in a little bit more detail later. But for now, let's actually go ahead and look at how you can create your very own lead magnet. So to do this, all you need to do is go ahead and find the little new lead magnet button at the top right corner of your screen over here and click on it. After that, as you can see over here, my screen is put into two. Uh, on the left side, I have uh, a bunch of my editing information, all my input information. And on the right side of my screen, I have a live preview of, so I know exactly what this is gonna look like for my end customer. So again, over here, I also wanna mention that you can toggle between a desktop view and a mobile view, so you know exactly what this will look like. And you can also design your lead magnet uh, to be as accurate as possible for your uh, customer. So let's just start off by filling in our basic information, starting with our cover media over here. We have five different options over here, but you can also go ahead and add in your own image or video over here by clicking on add your own image or video. Okay, so I quite like the default image over here, this last one over here, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And once I've done that, I can go ahead and add in my lead magnet title. So over here, we have a default of get the 30 day deep dive ebook. So I'm gonna leave it at that. After which I can also go ahead and add in my description followed by my call to action text. I'm pretty satisfied with get it now. So again, leaving it at that. So now let's go ahead and talk about the actual information that you'd like to collect from your audience. So as a default, we collect everybody's name uh, and we also recommend collecting either their phone number or their email ID. Uh, you can obviously collect both, but if you feel like either one may be a hindrance or may prevent your audience from actually submitting the form, you can simply go ahead and click on this little hide button next to either piece of information that you don't want to collect. Now, something that's really, really cool about our email collect feature is that we also, we, you also have an option to enable a verification code. And all this means is that your audience will receive a temporary verification code on their email in this case uh, and they simply have to input that code onto our super profile platform or when asked uh, on lead form uh, and this basically helps you authenticate your leads and make sure that they actually are authentic as well okay uh, now obviously we have these three questions over here as a default but you can also go ahead and add in your own questions if you would like uh, for the benefit of the next step I'll also be go I'll also go ahead and add in a yes or no question so go ahead and add in um, did you fill in the lead form okay and now I'm going to go ahead and make this field compulsory as well by clicking on the little checkbox over here. Once I'm satisfied, I'll go ahead and click on add question. Okay. So now to include your free, re uh, now to include your free resource, all I need to do is go ahead and click on this toggle over here next to want to include free resources. And then I can go ahead and upload my file. Now, a little note over here is that the maximum um, per size file over here is 25 MB and a total of 50 MB. So a quick workaround for this in case your file is heavier than that is to upload it onto a platform such as Google Drive and then uh, add in that shareable link over here in the add a file link uh, text box button after which you can simply go ahead and click on add okay so now coming to this next field of wanting to share this lead magnet as a reusable template i would highly recommend using this feature because it also doubles as a referral link that gives you a 20 percent commission when someone actually signs up and converts to a paid plan as well and this is a 20 percent recurring commission so i highly recommend that you actually templatize your lead magnet forms as well so i'm going to turn this on and later on in the video i'll actually show you where you can also find uh, this code as well so you can share it with other people so once i'm satisfied with all of this 
let me just quickly go ahead and upload my free resource in this case for the sake of this video i'm just uploading a quick image so once i'm satisfied with all of this i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and continue okay so now coming to the finishing touches of your lead magnet form uh, a really nice touch over here is to also add in an email automation to thank uh, your audience for actually filling in the form and as you can see over here adding an automation will also help you get 43% more conversions as well and so to set this up all I need to do is go ahead and click on setup over here so I can choose uh, if I would like my audience to receive the email as soon as the lead form is submitted or when a, spe uh, when a user selects a specific response so if you remember from earlier in uh, our previous step I also included a yes or no question so I can go ahead and select the question that I would like uh, them to be sent an automated response on. So I can also go ahead and select my options over here because it was a yes or no question. I can simply go ahead and select yes or no. Okay. So now I can click on confirm and proceed. And now I can go ahead and customize my email that will be sent. So starting off with my subject line over here and go ahead and add in thanks for filling. I can also add in an emoji if I would like and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my email body just to keep it simple I'll just add in and appreciate it and again I can see a live preview of what this will look like for my audience on the right side of my screen and again desktop and mobile view are both available over here simply by clicking on either one okay so once I'm satisfied with all of this I'm going to go ahead and click on save and enable Okay, so now once that's done, I can also go ahead and add in another automation if I would like by clicking on add more automation. And underneath that over here, we also have the option to choose and determine your theme and style of your lead form. So we have three options over here. You can choose between classic, dawn and dusk. Now I really like dawn, so I'm gonna go ahead with that. And once I'm satisfied, I can simply go ahead and click on save changes. And that's it, you've successfully created your first lead magnet. So now let's go ahead and talk about how you can actually share your lead magnet with others and also where to find your shareable lead magnet code as well. So to do this, all you need to do is go ahead and click on the share button next to your individual lead magnet. After which I'll be able to see my shareable URL over here. So now I can copy the link to send my lead magnet uh, as it is. But if I also want to send them the lead magnet template code, all I need to do is scroll all the way to the right, find the little equal sign over here and copy my code over here, my six digit code. Okay. I can go ahead and verify that this template code actually works by copying the template code and inputting it into this search box over here, right underneath my general performance numbers and click on search. So as you can see, I have the lead magnet that I've just created and I can simply go ahead and click on use this lead magnet to use the lead magnet. So now let's talk about how to actually manage all of your lead magnets and where to actually find your leads. So as I previously mentioned, you have a bunch of general performance numbers over here, such as your total responses, your responses in the last seven days and your conversion rate for the last seven days. So your total responses are basically the total number of leads that you've collected in general. Uh, the responses in the last seven days are simply the, num the total number of responses that you've received in the last week. And the conversion rate for the last seven days are basically the number of people in the last week who basically uh, visited your lead form compared to the number of people who actually filled in the lead form in the last seven days as well. Okay, so right underneath over here at the bottom, like I previously mentioned, you can see your individual lead magnets as well, along with the individual uh, performance numbers. So here you have uh, your status, which basically tells you whether or not your lead magnet is live or if it's disabled. Um, you also have your responses and upon clicking the little icon over here below responses it also redirects you to the audience tab uh, so you can see the leads for that uh, for that specific lead magnet and right next to that over here you also have your template usage which basically tells you the number of times that your template has been used uh, in general so now as you continue to create more and more lead magnets, it might get a little bit difficult to track and keep a track of, which is exactly why we also have the search bar over here, uh, right above all of your individual lead magnets. So you can also search for them by name individually. You can also toggle between both of the views over here, right next to export, 
uh, depending on your preference. And if you want to export all of this data as a CSV file, you can simply go ahead and click on export. And this CSV file will basically be sent to the email ID that's, collect, uh, that's connected to your Super Profile account. All right, so that's it for lead magnets and I hope it was very helpful. But if at any point in time you run into any issues or have any questions or queries you'd like to talk to us directly about, all you need to do is reach out to us on a little chat bot over here on the bottom right of the screen. And um, we love talking to you guys and getting your feedback on our product and we would love to know how lead magnets has been working out for you. So I highly recommend you talk to us over here as well. All right, thank you.